Alright, so check this out. I'm currently uh, just sitting in my vulture on my carrier, and um, there's been some issues with the Elite Dangerous interface I wanted to just put down on paper while I was thinking about it, because I'm not always able to condense my thoughts into something that is coherent. But um, there have been some issues with the Elite Dangerous interface that I want to point out as things that I don't like. And I want to aim this video more directly at, at FDev than the general community in the hopes that maybe they see this, but there's some I, there's some things about the UI that are really good that I like, and there's some other issues with it that I really don't appreciate that I've touched on in a few previous videos, but um, I've got my mouse cursor up here, so I want to I go over a few of them. Uh, one of the big ones, just starting with the basic interface, is that while it provides a lot of general information, the ability for me to glean fine details about the current combat environment is super limited, and there are times where I find that to be extremely frustrating. One of the big ones is the ship indicator right here. It's great at telling me my overall hull percentage and my overall, giving me an idea what my shield strength is, but where it lacks is in fine detail on shield percentage. So one of the things I would hope to see in the future is at least the option to have a percentage readout somewhere down here that tells me the exact condition of my shields rather than me having to kind of guess it based on ring positioning. And the other thing that I would like to see is that when the shields go down it would be nice to have this little icon grow a little bit so that I can have a visual indicator of when I'm taking module damage. Uh, a good example of this is uh, when I'm getting sub-targeted, uh, the most popular thing to sub-target in the game right now is the power plant. I don't know that the power plant is being sub-targeted until after I get a warning saying that my power plant capacity output is being reduced. Um, if by chance the person who is attacking me sub-targets some of these other modules, I don't find out that there's a problem until the module starts to malfunction, which works okay in the case of weapons, but not so well in the case of things like life support or my shield generator or, let's see, the frame shift drive will throw my function indicators, but the sensors won't. They'll just stop working. So I don't know that they're being sub-targeted, which makes them a really good thing to sub-target. Like, if I know that I'm fighting a ship that has an armored power plant, I'm probably not going to bother with this particular build to blow the power plant out. I'm going to go pick off little things like this. I mean, sensors sensors are one of the modules in the game that don't have reinforced engineering, and yet they're incredibly important. And if you shoot them out, a lot of commanders who rely on fixed weapons won't have lead indicators to be able to, to do effective targeting, and they lose the ability to see. So it, what I would like to see is some indicator in this little area down here that lets me know that a module is taking damage. Maybe have options for me to change the orientation or to do different things with this icon so that I can get more specific information about what's going on. Maybe. Uh, the, the option for a detailed top-down view of my ship that highlights the particular module grids. They turn um, uh, different shades of red or different colors based on damage archetype would be one way to do it. Um, there's another one that I want to uh, point out here, and I'm actually going to uh, launch my ship so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. And this one has to do with the info panel, which I think is a good resource. I actually like the way it's positioned on the interface. But um, one of the things that bugs me about it happens when happens when you go to land. Now, I'm not sure why FDev laid the system out like this, but when you go to land on a landing pad, if you forget to put your landing gear down, you get a really aggressive warning that says your landing gear is deployed. I don't have a problem with the warning, I have a problem with the aggressiveness of it. And there's a couple of other events in the game that aren't super critical. Like, forgetting to deploy your landing gear isn't a game-wrecking experience. There should be a warning, but it doesn't need to be this aggressive. And especially with other systems in the game that aren't mission critical, like limpets. If you deploy a bunch of limpets when you're mining, and the limpets run out of valid targets, I get the same kind of aggressive flash-up indicator here, and in that case it actually prevents me from reading the, uh, the info alerts. So when that starts flashing up on the screen, I can't see what my ship is collecting anymore, and if I'm trying to keep track of engineering materials as they arrive, 
seeing them flash up on the info panel is a really good confirmation that I'm getting the things that I'm looking for. Same thing with mining. Because if I don't see that alert, the only way that I can verify that I've collected a particular material is to go over here, one click, two, three, four, five, six, and then if it's a physical material, I can go sifting around in here for it, but that's even more clicks and holding things down. Um, if it happens to be data, I have to go farting around in here for a while, although data and limpets don't tend to go together, but it just gets, it's really tedious. So what I'd like to see is the current info panel takes up about this much space. Have a little drop down right here that's like the annunciator. It doesn't have to be its own independent, like it doesn't need to have its own labeling or anything, but when you want to throw a non-critical aggressive alert, like landing gear or limpets or, or different things like that, make them smaller, stick them down here, and then they can persist as long as the condition is true. Um, there, there we go, one contact loss, now you can see the outline a little bit better. Have an annunciator panel right down here so that if I forget to put down my landing gear, the little triangle still shows up and it still says landing gear, and the, the condition remains true and it stays on as long as that's the case. It doesn't have to disappear. Um, and This would actually give you room to have two alerts on the screen at the same time. One for landing gear, let's say, and another for... I don't know. I don't know what other situations you'd have two alerts, but it would help compress things. It would keep the info panel more exposed. It would let it would let us be able to see what's going on a little bit easier with our ship. Now, uh, another thing that I'd like to see happen has to do with the uh, indicator panels over here. Uh, this signature bar is cool looking, but it doesn't communicate to me very effectively how detectable that I am. It's vague. It's like I'm supposed to, I, I feel like I'm supposed to have a manual or something that I look through to figure out what all these mean, like with the pulse wave scanner on an SRV, but I've never found any documentation on, on what the different signatures or icons mean. So when I see this, for example, I don't intrinsically know how far away I'm detectable to other ships. So having some type of a, a digital indicator that tells me the estimated detectability of my ship, or better yet, lets me know when another ship has targeted me, would be flipping phenomenal because it would mean that I now have a way to contextualize stealth and silent running that I now have the ability to preemptively respond if somebody finds me on their radar and targets me and and that I can start gauging the effectiveness of stealth builds that I'm putting together because this doesn't tell me anything it's really cool I like the aesthetic but I would rather have function over over form and I would like to see more feedback from my ship as to what's going on with my builds and what's working and what isn't. Um, the fuel gauge is another area that I would like to see um, some adjustment to. In this case, it's also functionality. I like that I have a digital indicator telling me how much fuel that I'm burning in a given hour, and I have this reserve meter. The other thing that I would like the ability to have is uh, a manual fuel scoop cutoff. We've already got so much functionality in the modules panel. Um, I would like to see the ability to go in and across the modules panel be able to set specific behavior characteristics for modules that are relevant to it. Uh, a good example of this would be, I think I mentioned in the past, the AFM. Um, having, I want to be able to go in and set basic logic for the AFM so that it can do certain things automatically. Or can prioritize automatically repairing or turning off different modules at different thresholds. I would also like to see similar functionality arrive for things like the fuel scoop to basically be able to tell the fuel scoop to only scoop my tank to 25% of its capacity or 50% of its capacity. This would be very, very useful for exploration because a lot of explorers have to use the module panel to cheat this functionality into the game. Well, I like to say cheat, that's a bad choice of words too work around the inability to define exactly when and where they want their fuel scoop to stop and it's annoying it would be a huge quality of life improvement to be able to set that logic within the module panel or to have a hotkey somewhere that we can use to turn the fuel scoop on and off directly um, more more control over ship systems is never a bad thing and it doesn't I, for for super fine control i don't mind if i have to go digging around in the modules panel to do specific things, but I do feel like that the game asks me to do way too much in this menu during combat. And I would like to see ways to 
more efficiently interact with my ship, at, at least on a surface level, during combat. One of the big examples is the AFM. Um, if the ship takes damage in combat, you have to go farting around in here while you're getting shot at. You, you tend to start losing fights. Um, the workaround in the game right now is to use macros, but the macros that interact with the modules panel are just not effective because every ship's going to have a different build, and so every macro needs to be custom tuned not only to the individual ship but to the builds in that ship, and it just turns into a big frustrating mess. Uh, let's see. Fire group controls is another thing in the interface that I'd like to have. I'd like to have some more options for how my fire groups respond when I click on them. Um, in this case, I've got I've only got a pulse laser and a multi cannon, but I have several ships that might have two pulse lasers on a fire group. What I'd like to be able to do is define how they link to each other. Um, currently in the game, when you click a button, both hard points just fire. Um, what I'd like to do is have a functionality in here, an extra tab or something that I can click on that will allow me to select between linked fire or alternating fire so that if I have two hard points on the same fire group and on the same button press um, they'll take turns firing on their cycle. For example, um, if I have two pulse lasers they will take turns shooting in a pattern that increases the number of shots per second. Now for, for uh, pulse lasers and multi-cannons and other weapons of that archetype that are automatic firing, I just absolutely love the idea of of being able to fine-tune how the weapon fires so that I can optimize uh, fire rate on target. Because that changes the, the dynamics for uh, sub-targeting modules and, and, and manipulating other aspects of combat. For weapons that require single press to fire, I could see that maybe not being the case, although um, I would I would argue that, that it would be nice to still have that tab be an option but still require an individual click to fire just that um, every time you click a different weapon in the selected group fires without me needing to, f to flip around between different fire groups and constantly toggle around because I can do that in the game but it requires like three or four clicks per volley and that's that's not clicking to fire that's clicking through fire groups and trying to get everything set up the way that, that it should be and it's inconvenient. It It's functionality that modern military aircraft could feasibly have readily if they wanted it. It's something that this game ought to consider. Let's see. There are a few other little things in here that have been uh, that have been left off uh, in the interface. Uh, let me get into a galaxy map. This has been harped on across the community, but we really need bookmark folders. I, I've come up with, a, with with pipe symbol workarounds to keep things organized the way that I want, but it would just be so much easier if I could stick these things in folders. I'm not going to spend much time on that one, though, because this has been requested and done to death all the time. Uh, the other thing that the Galaxy Map needs desperately is the ability to input custom routes. As it stands right now, if I want to go from A to B, I have to accept whatever the Galaxy Map decides is the economical route or the fastest route. And it means that if I want to set up, for example, a grid search, that I have to flip and copy and paste 30 different waypoints in back and forth, and it's one at a time, and it kind of sucks. I would like the ability to take a text file or some other type of, of common file format and have somewhere in here that I can paste that in and then have the galaxy map calculate the full cycle of the route so that I don't have to worry about it so that I can just go. It's less to think about, it's less buttons to push, it's less extra crap I have to have on my peripheral monitors. Because I can do this with Spanch, but it involves copy-pasting system routes potentially hundreds or even thousands of times if you're trying to take a route all the way out to Sage or to Beagle Point. It's incredibly tedious. It does not make for great gameplay. And it makes me not want to do long-form exploration. If we could set up custom routes, then external software tools can calculate necessary grid searches and commanders can just share out the grid search patterns or chunks of them to different commanders and they just work their way through the route. It would make things so much more easy to deal with. Um, which actually brings me to another thing. Um, I can't share I can't share grid search patterns with other people in game. I have to use external tools. As a long term feature, it would be nice to be able to have some tools in here where I could draw up a grid search 
and then share that grid search to commanders in a wing or in my squadron and say look I'm searching this area for X thing and then have the commanders who are assisting me with the grid search be able to tick off systems in the search that then get reflected in my system map so that I know where I need to go in order to finish the grid search so that people aren't overlapping each other which would be flipping amazing like if you guys can get around to it at some point it, I would love to see it it would help make it would help make everybody's life a lot easier in this game to have some some extra tools to deal with um, let's see I don't really have any anything to add with these um, except that having the ability to have multiple um, multiple search functions would be nice so um, I would like to be able to drill down um, for example a federation system with a certain government type or a certain economy type uh, that has an X star class or um, can be filtered by visited stars. Well, right now I can only do one. Oh, power plays power play, not really much to go on there. The, uh, let's see. I actually really like the the new fleet carrier interface. I hope that this interface style makes it into the stations at some point, because this is much more aesthetically pleasing while maintaining a high level of functionality and being really easy to work with. I do have, let's see, I lost my train of thought. I can't remember what it was I was trying to to get at. So it must not have been that important. Um, oh, info panel. Uh, this panel over here is pretty cool. It would be nice to be able to discern the conditions of the ship that I'm targeting beyond just wanted or clean. So if I am in Super Cruise and a ship is using Super Cruise Assist, it would be really cool to have an indicator that that ship is on Super Cruise Assist, just to give me more target information. Let me know if, if I'm in open play, for example, um, if someone might not be paying attention. Just had to get a drink of water there. And uh, let's see. I think, oh, well, actually, I think that's it. Those are just some of the basics. Um, yeah, I'll I'll probably make another video following up on stuff that I uh, can't remember. But for now, that's all I got. I'll catch you all later.